we're going to be talking about what I got from my wish list so far. And um, my bed is covered right now. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today we are about halfway through this 2020 year. I know it feels like it's been two years, but I thought it'd be fun to go back on my wish list that I did at the beginning of the year and show you what I got from that, what is still on it, and what I've added to it. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love to share with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, my bed is like covered right now. I know you can't see it, but I have some stuff to show you. We're gonna go a trip down memory lane, what was on my wish list, what I got, what is still on, what I took off, and what I'm adding to it. Because if you're anything like me, it just, that list somehow keeps growing and growing and growing. And I think that I'm at bag piece, but I'm never really, are we ever really at bag piece? Am I ever gonna make it to Bay and Island? No, I'm waddling in that water. Okay, so we're gonna go through like what I had on my list. I have my old video, I have it linked for you. So if you wanna watch that first, see what I was thinking, go back to past Jess, and then come back to future Jess, so you can do that right now. But one of the first things that was on my list, and what I realized from my list is that I wanted more expensive bags. I am a vintage lover, and I'm one of those people that I would just go for vintage bags. I would just buy things that were on sale, designer items, and I wasn't really, thinking about getting more investment pieces, pieces that actually cost a lot more money and pieces that I would probably be forever in my collection. I always love just getting that good deal and buying a bag that was similar to the one that I wanted, but not the one I wanted. And what your girl realized is I had some money in my closet. Like I had sold some things, I purged some things and I was able to afford to get some of these bags and shoes that are a little pricey. So that's why my bed is covered right now. So if you think that these bags are out of your reach, go in your closet, look at your stuff, see what you're loving. If you don't love that item, sell it, purge it, get rid of it, and put it towards something amazing that you will absolutely love. So the first thing on my wish list that I had wanted is I wanted a Celine box bag. I love those bags. They're very sleek and sophisticated. I wasn't even sure what color. I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know like if it was even possible, but I was loving the Celine box bag. Got it. <laughs> I'll post my video for you on this because this is a little bit of a story about how I had a bad experience on Poshmark. So you, got, you gotta watch that story because I just rant basically. If you like when people rant and apparently I'm funny when I rant, you gotta click on that video. But yeah, absolutely love this bag, but I have got some wear on it that I wanted to show you guys because I'm gonna be sending this to the leather surgeons. Right here, I am noticing a little rubbing from the straps here. Because this is lizard and it's scaly, and the leather inside is like softer. I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit of rubbing right there. So I'm gonna take this to the leather surgeons, have them look at it, try to fix it up because they actually specialize in exotic skins. So I figure I'd have them look at it, make sure there's no scales lifting up. Everything else looks good on it, but I am noticing a little bit of wear from it. So that's just something to think about with these exotic leathers with the sling box bag because of how the strap is and it rubs in there, you are going to have most likely somewhere to the sides here from the straps, which is what I've noticed right off the bat. But does it make me love it any less? No, like I love her, I'm committed, and I'm so proud I have her. Next, I knew I wanted to add another vintage Chanel bag to my collection, and I had been lusting because I love Emma Hill, and she has great vintage bag collection, and this was a bag she had added and I wanted it, but then the price got up and I'm like, if I find a good price, I'm gonna add a vintage Chanel backpack to my collection. And your girl found it. I found this bag, I believe it was around 1500 or 17. I'll put the video down below on how much this was, but I absolutely love this vintage Chanel backpack. My favorite part is you have the triple cocoa at the bottom here and on the back. I just love the triple cocoa, I really hope that they bring that back in some of their newer bags. I just think it's so fun. It's nice and subtle, but it's it's absolutely gorgeous and classic Chanel. I have the gold hardware here, 
And I love these straps because you have the leather, but then you also have the chain at the bottom. So you have that classic Chanel, which I absolutely love. And it's just a very practical bag. And I have little straps here to close it. I just like to stuff my straps in the bottom. In great shape. Like I have a little bit of wear to it, but I mean, I mean, it's just a little, gosh, there's like hardly anywhere to this. I could go for like maybe a polish. So I haven't taken it to the leather surgeons yet. So yeah, got this. We're two for two. Next on my wish list, I had a, the on the go tote from Louis Vuitton and I did not get that one. I was feeling attracted to it. I liked it. And then they came up with a smaller size. So it was still on my list. It has now left the list. It is a neat fun bag for the price of it being canvas. It was, it's over $2,000 for all canvas. And I am not necessarily a tote girl. I'm coming, I'm falling a little bit more for totes, but not, I'm really not a tote girl. I got rid of my Neverfull because it just wasn't for me. And the fact that it's like a wide open tote, it's very boxy. I just don't know if it's something that I would use and reach for a lot. So I've since taken that off. And I also had the Dior vertical tote that was on my list. It's kind of neat. It was like a little handheld, small little vertical tote. It had the, the celestial things or the, I think it was the tarot card. There was celestial one, but then it was the tarot card was once I was looking at. I have it added to my card. It was like around 2,700, 2,400, but it was such a small bag. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So, Instead of getting those bags, those bags are now off my list, but basically I kind of combined the two and I got this bag. I got myself the classic, this is the Dior book tote, which has now become a classic. And this is in the navy oblique prints. And this is the larger size. They did come out with a smaller size, which I'm intrigued about, thinking about getting it if I could get it for a good price. I got this on the secondhand market. It had a little bit of wear to it. And I got it, I believe, around twenty-one or twenty-two hundred. I think these retail now close to three thousand dollars. So yes, that is a lot of money for a bag like this. However, it is super popular. If I ever decide that it's not for me anymore, I can obviously sell it and get all my money back. But I just love the design of this. I love the chicness. I love the versatility of it. I know you could use it as a travel bag. I don't know if I'm going to use it as a travel bag on a plane. I just, I'm always so paranoid of having to stick my bag underneath the seat. If you saw for my one video, I I also have the St. Laurent's tote, the canvas tote, and that is similar to this. And I had trouble fitting it under the seat and sticking it in the conveyor belt. So I don't think I would want to take this traveling because I just wouldn't want to get it all dirty, but you absolutely could. I use this more as an everyday bag. I, even though it's big and huge, fun and classy to wear. And I also added a insert to it, which has a zip, which is great to put and store all your things because in this bag, there are no compartments or anything whatsoever. So I have a video all on my organizer stuff. So I will put that down below for you if you're interested. But yes, I put those two, two ideas and combined them and ended up getting this bag, which I absolutely love. And I'm so proud to have it in my collection. You know how your girl feels about shoes. I have several videos dedicated to shoes. And this I showed you in my summer shoe collection. This has been on my wish list for a while. And as you see from my other videos, I am no longer buying dupes. I used to buy designer dupes and I'm just no longer doing it because I realize how much money I'm wasting. I mean, even the dupes, you're like, especially the leather ones, you're looking at over a hundred dollars for some of these shoes. And it's not the one I really want. And I buy them in several different colors because I'm like, oh, it's only $100. That's not a big deal. And I ended up buying these secondhand markets on Fashion Fowl for a little over $400. It's like, instead of buying all those dupes that I no longer own because they wore out so fast, I could go for the original. So yes, these are on my list. I definitely want to get them in more colors. I want to get this with the, the block heel version. I know I've seen some that are wedged versions, different things like that. So yeah, that's my recommendation. Like when you have stuff in your wish list, like I had to add it and I finally added it to my collection. I don't know why I waited so long. I should invest in those pieces. I found myself buying Gucci dupes all the time. One of them were Caitlin Pan. I have a video all about why I'm not buying dupes anymore. And especially Caitlin Pan, kind of the controversy with them. I know just being sued. So if you want to click on that video and learn a little bit more, you can. But in my wish list, I wanted to replace some of my Caitlin Pan ones. One is that I love the pink version of the Gucci 
loafers and mules. I wasn't sure what I wanted to get. I also had the black mules that I had from Caitlin Pan that I wanted to replace because I wore them all the time. But then I was drawn to the fur mules. So I couldn't decide what Gucci loafers or mules to get. So what do you think I did with my wish list? Your girl bought all of them. I got these brand new. This was on Essence. It was a sale from my girl Lux Hunt. She had the link up and I saw it. And these, I believe, I forget which ones these are called. I always mix them up. But these are the ones where you, they fold down so you could wear them as mules or just wear them as regular loafers. I just wear them as the regular loafers. And because they are that leather that it can fold down, they are like so soft, creamy, and buttery. I didn't have to break these in. Like some of the other loafers I noticed, like I had to walk and break them in because they are a little bit of a stiffer leather, if that's a thing. But because these are meant to already be moved down, like it was just, these are like a dream to wear. So I absolutely recommend these. And yeah, I got these on sale. I think they were right around $500, which is a great deal. Because normally I believe these loafers are like close to $800. So yeah, absolutely love these. Next, I found these and I found these on the Fashion File Outlet, which I recommend. I bought these secondhand. They came with everything, the box and everything. They were just lightly used. I have used the crap out of these so far what i noticed with like oh, i need to wipe those up a little bit but with the caitlin pan ones you know i would have wear to the leather the leather is so thin on some of these dupes but with the gucci shoes the leather is thicker you might get scratches and stuff but you're not going to have the leather lift you're not going to it's not going to tear and these ones i did have to break in when i first wore them a couple times I noticed when I was walking in them that I kind of, there was no rubbing, no blisters, but I could feel my foot on this metal bar and I had like a little soreness afterwards, like maybe like a little, like almost like a, a little bruise, but not really. I just felt it for a little bit afterwards. But then once you break these in, they're an absolute dream. So I love these meals. They go with everything. They look, they look dressed up. They look dressed down. You stick these on, you're like instantly chic instantly chic. And then I saw these for under $400. I think these were like $390, $395, something like that in the fur. And I know these are your base cup of tea, but I'm drawn to them. And they are literally like wearing a slipper. And I live in like Erie, Pennsylvania. So we are cold six months out of the year, like our fall stuff, like you have cold and, and rain and all that stuff. And to have something that's just so nice to slip on and your foot feels warm and I don't have to wear boots or anything like that. I mean, these were absolutely, it's like, it's, it's a walking slipper and I know they're going to eventually get like dirty and messed up, but Caitlin Palowski has these ones and she still loves them and she's had them for years. So I really feel like these are going to stand the test of time. I absolutely love them. I love having them in my collection. And basically I got, I think all three of these were like $1,400. Like that's not, bad for like three Gucci's. So yeah, so glad that I added these. And when you can't decide, get them all, right? Lastly, it was uh, jewelry was on my list. And basically it was hoops. I was getting into some more jewelry. I usually don't buy a lot of costume jewelry because I'm allergic to nickel. So I usually just had a few pieces that I would wear all the time. But I got these Fendi hoops. I had the Fendi or the Louis Vuitton hoops that they have with the LV. Those were on my list and I ended up getting these hoops right here. I absolutely love them. They have a little bit of a weight to it. I do notice them sometimes when I'm moving my ears, but once you have them on for a bit, you kind of don't feel that weight at first. It doesn't, it's not like a weight where you're, they're hanging down, but it's substantial. Like you, it's, it's good metal. It's a good hoop. So if you don't like being able to kind of feel them when you move, maybe these aren't for you. But I love them. I think they're super classy and super chic. And somehow hoops make me feel absolutely sassy. And then I had one pair of shoes that is still on my wish list. I did not take it off. It is the Gucci combat boots. And then they had these removable pearl straps around them. I just think they're so cute. And I wear boots like six months out of the year because it is always like cold and rainy and to have like chicer boots and boots that I'm not going to slip and fall in and that I can take in the snow that are hot, that are adorable are always on my list and like who doesn't like pearls right who doesn't like pearls so those are still on my list hoping I can find them secondhand they retailed for over a thousand dollars just a lot of money for boots that I'm gonna like wear outside and get in the muck and dirt and stuff like that but if I ever find them secondhand I'm going to snatch them up and now we're gonna go to my current wish list, and I have a couple pieces that I want to add. I want to get 
the in the Louis Vuitton section I want to get the Nano Nice that is out it's right around a little over $700 or under $800 Nano knees. I think it'd be super cute. I want to use it as like for travel to put makeup and stuff in, but then I also want to wear it as a handbag. So I've been stocking the LV site for that. I also want to get the, the SAC Plat Nano. Like why is it everything time they make things little? I want it, but it's a Nano that they're coming out this month for. I want to add that to my collection. I think that's absolutely cute. So that is on the wish list. So a Chanel on my wish list. I, I love the Chanel 19, but I think I'm gonna have to wait on that until it becomes a little less popular and I can get something under retail because right now retail is really high and to find this in the second market, they're all over retail. So that is on the list, but like not realistic for 2020. But I want to get find a vintage Chanel in the jersey and I really like the ones with the prints where they had Chanel all over it. Some fun like jersey or I know I saw Mel Sidero had one that was like the bandana print. I want to find one in good condition, a vintage, larger bag. I want how do I want to go for like a jumbo size in the jersey, vintage Chanel. So hopefully I'll be able to find something like that. And guys, I have added, oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I want to get, it's because my girl Sam, like she is, our birthdays are the same month that she wants to get her birthday Birkin. So I'm like keeping my eyes peeled for the Birkin that she's looking for. Cause we do that for each other. If I see, like, I know she's looking for a bag. She knows I'm looking for a bag. We always send each other links trying to help each other out. I've been looking at Birkins and I'm now wanting to get a vintage Birkin either in the 30 or the 25, the smaller Birkin. So it's not too heavy. And I really like the, like the blue jean the color maybe getting one of like the caramel colors. I love the contrast stitching. So yeah, I I wanna get a vintage Birkin and it would be really cool if I could get a vintage Birkin like in my year of my birth. I don't know if that'll happen or a Kelly. I would consider getting a Kelly in the year of my birth, but yeah, guys, your girl wants a Birkin. I never thought this ever happened. Like, it's crazy, but I'm hoping I can find a vintage one that needs fixed up that I can give to the leather surgeons just like I did with my classic Chanel flap. I sent that to them. So if I can find myself a Birkin and get it all fixed up, bring it new life, yeah, on the wish list. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know what you got from your wish list. Did we share some of the same ones? And what are you adding to yours? And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye guys.